I'm Lauren Plant, and after nearly a month's wait, January football and a Division II regional final between the host school, 6-2 Livonia Churchill, in the regionals for the second straight season, taking on the most surprising team of this year's playoffs, winless throughout the regular season, Oak Park has won three in a row. This was an entertaining football game. We pick it up midway through the first quarter, fourth and 13 for Oak Park from the 21. Senior quarterback James Burnley buying time and able to connect with his fellow senior wideout, Kishon Jackson. Extra point failed, six zip nights. Minutes later, Oak Park deep in their own territory. Hand off to Davion Prim. Ball is jarred loose by Boston Clegg Jr. Churchill recovers very much in striking distance. Didn't take long for the Chargers to get into the end zone. Senior quarterback and Concordia commit Gavin Brooks surveys and finds the senior Jordan Garcia who walks in. PAT was good, 7-6 Churchill after the first. Couple minutes into the second and the Chargers in the red zone again. Brooks will dump it to Khalil Ford. He loses the handle, kicks the rock into the end zone where Charles Gillespie falls on it. Opportunity lost. Move to just over two minutes left in the half. Knights driving. The 6-2 Burnley on the keeper. He'll dive into the paint from six yards out. Conversion unsuccessful. 12-7 ball game. Churchill trying to make something happen before the break. 90 seconds left at midfield. This was a key play. Brooks and company get everybody to bite. Gavin gets it back and takes off down the sideline. He won't be brought down until he gets to nearly the 15-yard line. About a minute left, and the Chargers hit pay dirt again. Brooks with plenty of time, lost it towards the end zone, and Jimmy Targaz just wills it for six. Churchill executed the conversion and led at the half 15-12. Four minutes into the third and disaster strikes for Oak Park. Jackson back to punt and the snap sails out of the end zone. That is a safety 17 to 12 Chargers lead. Four minutes later, Knights put together a nice drive due in large part to Jackson. Burnley rolling sees the senior wideout. He's got it and he will bull his way to the Churchill 45. 152 left in the third now and the give is to the junior Bawana Miller. He will hit the hole and he will take it 29 yards to the crib. Then Burnley will push the pile to execute the conversion. Knight snatch back the advantage and led after 3, 20 to 17. At the start of the fourth, we had an interesting series of events. Knights to punt, Garcia back to receive. Can't hang onto it. Ball is loose and the Knights recover. Oak Park with great field position, looking to pad their lead. Bad exchange between Burnley and Sukuni Watson. Ryan Hutchinson will pounce on the loose ball. Chargers give a new life. A minute later, Brooks on the play action. He will hit a wide open Targaz. He will not be brought down until he gets near the 25 yard line. A few plays later, Clegg Jr. will romp his way into the end zone and Churchill led 23 to 20 with nine and a half minutes left to go in the game. We move all the way to just under two minutes left in the game. Oak Park trying to take the lead facing fourth and two inside the 10 yard line. Ball is given to Miller and he is not going anywhere. Huge play as the Chargers hold and for the moment have preserved the three point lead. A minute to go now and this is why we missed high school football so much. Can you believe it? Yes, Amari Harris with the biggest play of his young life, selling out for six. Later that day, he'd receive an offer from Lawrence Tech. Burnley would continue his heroics as well on the conversion, finding a way to power his way across the goal line. 42 seconds left in the contest, Oak Park led 30 to 23. So the Chargers needed a touchdown and either a field goal to tie it or a conversion to win it. Brooks under pressure lets it go into the waiting arms of Gillespie. That's the ball game. The team that so many doubted would even win a playoff game after starting the season 0-6 with four road playoff games, Oak Park, in comeback fashion, scores the game's final 10 points as the Knights beat Churchill 30-23. And although this was Oak Park's third regional appearance in eight years, for the first time in school history, the Knights win the regional title. Knights will now face Warren D. LaSalle in the Division II State Semifinals. Quite honestly, had this been a regular season, we wouldn't have been in the playoffs. 
So this has to be a first. So I'm extremely proud of the way we handled not winning those early games. We knew that by the end of the season we would be a tough out for most teams. So we're just excited that we got a chance to play. We're, we're blessed that we had the opportunity because, again, if we start, you play 0-6 during a regular season, you'll never get this far. You'll never get a chance. It means everything. These are my brothers. I love them, man. We, we, we got a, a, a bond that cannot never be broken. We knew that we coming into this game with a lot of adversity. Everybody doubting us. But we knew that we got love and trust in each other, and we knew we could pull it off. We knew we just had to work hard. Really and we got another week of practice, bro.